So we decided today that uh, we're going to remove all of our insecticide boxes, all the drive chains, and the framework that they all sit on, and uh, lighten up the corn planter. So uh, a couple of my friends have done this, and my Uncle Jamie was in the shop today. He's like, didn't you see their planters after they done it? It's like, it looks really good. So Dad's like, no, we didn't see those yet. So... We uh, decided to uh, do ours like that, and it makes it easier to get in and fix stuff, and especially in here to change the population and all that. So that's what we're doing today. So, so far I've got three out of the 12 done, and they're looking pretty good. I, uh, I really like this. You get in here easier to dump seed in and stuff, and uh, it's actually lightened up each row by 36 pounds. Uh, by the time we took our sprayer kit off, which we don't use anymore, and we took the box, the framework off, and all the hardware, it's uh, 36 pounds lighter. So hopefully the planter might raise a little bit quicker too with 4430. So, and uh, we kind of figured too, just the drag of the chains turning for the insecticide takes stress off of the drivetrain of the planter. So, and we don't use dry insecticide anymore anyways. I think we've only used it once in the past maybe 12 years, and that wasn't even on this planter. So, as long as I can remember, we haven't used dry insecticide. This stuff's dangerous anyways. So, I'm going to uh, keep cutting, and uh, we're going to do some grinding and some touch-up paint, and I think this project's going to be done. Um, I was told that I might have to weld these up, but it looks like from factory they've got some pretty good welds on them in there anyway. So uh, I don't even think I need to weld anything on these. I'm just going to uh, cut them off, grind them, clean them up, and uh, paint them. I'm using our uh, Thermal Dynamics Cut Master 52 to cut these off using a plasma cutter. It's working real good. I just uh, stick the uh, gun down in there rub it right along that bracket that's already there and gives me a good cut guide and then I just freehand a little bit at the top and bottom and boom it's cut off so working out pretty good so I think it's going to be uh, pretty cool when it's all done it's going to look like a different planner and uh, be less stuff to uh, carry around all the time and just less hassle let's put it that way so I'm going to keep cutting So I got everything cut off and uh, it looks really good. So now I'm going to go back through and I'm going to uh, grind everything, clean it up, and then uh, true everything up a little bit because I got a little shaky on a few when I was cutting them. And uh, we're going to clean it up and then we're going to uh, squirt some paint on them all and make them look good. And we're going to throw the boxes back on and I think we're done for this uh, modification until we find something else we want to do to it. So um, I know you're all like, well, you lighten them row units up 36 pounds, that's 36 pounds less you have to hold the row unit down. Well, in our soil conditions, we don't have heavy clay, 
so we don't have to worry about down pressure on each row unit like the guys that have the heavier clay ground. See, we don't even have our down pressure springs hooked up. So everything we farm is either sand or muck or a uh, softer black dirt. So we don't have clay conditions that we have to worry about having down pressure for. So weight per row unit has never been an issue when it comes to that. And like I said, we do have the optional down pressure spring. So if we do have to do that, them are still available. So it should be perfectly fine with this modification and easier to work on the planter also. So I'm going to get them ground and repainted. Well, there we have it. All trimmed off, ground nice and smooth, so we're not catching clothes or anything on it. So I'm going to clean them up a little better with some paint thinner and then squirt some green paint on them. Probably next winter we're going to bring this planter in the shop and actually completely repaint it and clean it up real nice. The tanks are good, the boxes are good, it just needs freshened up paint wise. So I'm going to keep grinding on these and then we'll get this planter reassembled, get this painted, and then we are done.